Hi everyone, and welcome to the Product Overview. Whether you are signing artists or developing careers, Soundcharts is here to improve your workflow and decision process. Let's use Lizzo, an eclectic artist that has taken over the charts recently with her viral hit, Truth Hurts. The first page you land on after searching is the data overview. From top to bottom, you'll find social data, playlist information, and also airplay data, displaying the top five countries and a visual heat map based on broadcast plays. To deep dive on each vertical, you can click on any data in the sections or use the tabs above. The top of the audience page displays the social channels that are most active. For Lizzo, the number one channel is now Instagram, having more than 50% of her fans there. Below, the graphs allow you to see historical growth as well as daily evolutions. Here, we can see that her reach is growing following her single, Juice, and then a quick acceleration after the album, Cause I Love You. You can change the selection of the time here. On the third chart, you can see the impact of each release, and each new one seems to have more impact than the previous. The next block shows the evolution of her audience reach on Spotify. The growth of listeners is evident after she entered the top global 50 at the beginning of July 2019. When looking at the YouTube views of Lizzo, we can see the consumption of Lizzo's work across all YouTube channels. The last block displays the geo-localized audience of the artist. We can see that Lizzo's core markets are the English-speaking countries. When checking the cities in which she's most popular, we see all of them are in the US, her native country. To navigate on the sections of the chart, you can use this drop-down. To have an international view on Spotify, you can select all countries Many of her releases have charted in different countries. Let's jump over to the playlist section. By filtering here, you can focus only on official playlist, third-party influencers and listeners, or major owned playlists. Choosing to deep dive on this last one, we can see that despite being signed to Atlantic Records, all majors are featuring her on their branded playlists. Use the table header song if you want to focus on a track. Moving over airplay, you can choose between a deep dive on performance numbers or an extended picture of Lizzo's airplay strategy and performance. Here we can quickly have an overview of her radio performance around the globe. If you want to dive deeper, move to the next block in which you can choose the country you want to focus on. Let's choose France. You can even drill down by radio station here. Scrolling down, you can see the real-time plays. On this block, you can better understand the radio network of the artist and the radio that have the higher reach potential. It can be quite useful, for instance, when choosing which station to contact to do a new tour promotion. To go over numbers for specific songs and radio stations, you can use the airplay details. Filtering to see the performance of Truth Hurts in France, we can see that only four stations are currently pushing this project. Clicking on any row, you can check the performance of the song on a specific station over the last 28 days. Also, if you want to receive reports on this artist, you can click here and set your preferences. And that is a specific tutorial itself.